I'm going to try to make a potato chip cookie. It's from this cookie walk book from 2013. Kim's Book Cookie Walk is like an annual event they do every year. And when you buy a ticket, you get a cookbook of all the cookies that are given out. And so this is from 2013. And my husband remembers this being one of his favorite cookies from that walk. And so I am going to try to make it, see if I can recreate it. And 10 years later, so it's two cups butter softened, which I've had on the counter all day. So it's room temperature, one cup sugar, three and one fourth cup flour, teaspoon vanilla, crushed potato chips, and then the sugar, the confectionery sugar is just to decorate it at the end. So preheat the oven to 300 degrees. That is a very low degree. And usually cookies are cooked at like 375, but it's probably so it doesn't really get burnt or anything. Baking at 18 to 20 minutes, that sounds reasonable. So first we're going to cream the butter and sugar. There are no eggs in this recipe, interesting. In my mixing bowl, I have four sticks of butter, one cup of granulated sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. And now I'm gonna cream that together on my KitchenAid. I have the butter and the sugar cream together. And now it says to add three and one fourth cup of flour slowly. Here is the mixed dough, except I've not added the potato chips yet. So then the next step is to mix in one and a half cups of coarsely um, ground potato chips. So I'm just gonna, I don't know if it means like one and a half before or after they're ground. It's after, right? I don't know. I'll ask my husband's opinion. And then I'm gonna have him mix it in because I just don't, I don't wanna mix it with the mixer because I think it'll like crunch him too much. So I'm gonna have my husband do it for me. All right, Robert says he means after they're ground. So this is one and a half cups of potato chips ground. And we're just putting it in the bowl. And then he is gonna mix it together under honey supervision. Honey, what do you think? She's like, I like potato chips. Oh, oh, oh no, no, you don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have them on the cookie sheet and it says uh, tip, dip your fork in flour so your fork doesn't stick. So it says lightly press down. All right. And then we're gonna bake it in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes, which is a long time, but remember the oven temperature is 300. We have the first batch cooling on the cooling rack and it says to lightly sprinkle with powdered sugar. Oh man, how am I gonna do this? I think I have a shaker somewhere, give me a second. I want them to cool them a little more before I do a taste test, but they're looking pretty good. All right, the first batch is cooled down and we're gonna do a quick taste test. I don't know. I don't know. They don't have salt as the other ones. They're not that salty at all. Mm -hmm. I like them. They're good. I was expecting them to be more salty. Maybe in the next batch I won't put the sugar on top. If I'm gonna leave off the powdered sugar in the next batch. Mm. I'm getting the crunchiness of the chip, but I can't say I would know it was a potato chip if you didn't tell mm -hmm. me. It's a good cookie though. I don't know how you cook it. Right, is that what we get for buying generic potato chips? You weren't generic. I weren't generic? That's a major brand. Oh. Okay, wait. That was a good bite. Alright. 
Maybe I didn't do a good job of mixing. No. I think the powdered sugar on top is throwing me off. I think it is. I think I should... If we had, like, sea salt, mm -hmm. I think it would be really good to sprinkle a little sea salt on top. To me, it kind of just tastes like a sugar cookie. I like it, though. Farmer it? likes it. I like it. It could also be because... I spent most of the day baking and I'm tired. I'm not really tired. But I ate it all. And Robert likes it. And if you want a recipe that doesn't require eggs, that's pretty good. All right, took three batches, three runs in the oven to cook them all. I use two cookie sheets and I have six on each sheet. Um, and then we ate two cookies or maybe three. Anyway, this is how many it made. And my husband likes them. That's all that matters. Um, earlier I made chocolate chip cookies. I prefer chocolate chip cookies. And then it is Christmas time. So I'm going to make more cookies tomorrow. Two cookie, two different types of cookies a day, but I'm not going to do a video on those because they're just standard cookies. I just did a video on this because I had never made them before. And I was curious what you know just curious because my husband picked it out in the book and the last time I had one was 10 years ago so they are good just not my favorite but like I said Robert likes them and that's all that matters